So I recently made a video about flipping triangle normals in Mesh Mixer so you can make easy internal pins so when you could print in separate parts you could align them easily after printing for assembly and I also demonstrated a technique in that video on how to make crazy 3D infill structures and I thought okay if I've shown this in a video I probably should test it in real life. So I made this. This is a gigantic Maker's Muse Maker Coin which has a fully 3D lattice infill structure designed in Mesh Mixer. Let me show you how I made it. There you have it guys. So yes, it did print and this thing is phenomenal. So this is the largest that I can print, but uh, I do know someone who has a slightly larger printer as well. So you might look out on their channel to see uh, another incarnation of this design. But in terms of my results, I had no idea if it was going to survive or if it was going to print without failing because yeah, it's an internal 3D lattice to su provide support for an FDM process. So when it got to those top layers, uh, it it needed to build on stuff and it did it did print it printed fine but for some designs I'm not sure this would work so something I would love to see is this technique done with a powder based 3d printing process what I mean by that would be a SLS selective laser sintering with nylon or a DMLS direct metal laser sintering so if you happen to own a DMLS or SLS printer please get in touch with me because I would love to test this out and feature it on the channel. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video here on Maker's Muse. If you want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, crazy experiments like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will make this a subscribe button there. <laughs> and yeah, I really look forward to seeing you again shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later guys. Bye. Actually, walk in space.